they've got momentum behind them. They've also shown they're a big game team as well. I, I just can't really make much of a case for, for Derby. The way they celebrated after beating Leeds in the semi-finals, it was as if that was their victory. And he knows Wembley well, doesn't he? He won four FA Cups during his playing days, Champions League, Europa League. But I don't know when it comes to the crunch at Wembley, sellout crowd, whether he's going to be able to perform there. Well, the big game of the weekend, no doubt about it, comes on Bank Holiday Monday and it is the Championship Playoff Final, the richest game in football as Aston Villa come up against Derby County. Bobby is going to be fighting the corner of Villa. Jack believes that Derby will make it back to the top flight. Let's start off then with making a case for either of these two teams. Bobby, Villa will go in as favourites and of course they've got the experience of having missed out in this game last season. Yeah, exactly that. I think you look at this Aston Villa squad and, and the depth they have in it as well. You have to regard them as the favourites going into this game. They came through a tough tie with West Brom in, in the semi-finals and it was that second half of the season under Dean Smith where they really started to get to grips with his philosophy, his style of play and, and I think they've reaped the rewards from that in the latter stages. Up against a Derby side who they beat twice in the season, 7-0 on aggregate over the course of the two games. I, I just can't really make much of a case for, for Derby. The way they celebrated after beating Leeds in the semi-finals, it was as if that was their victory, that they'd gone on to win promotion off the back of that. I feel as though they might have just given a bit too much too soon, Derby, and I fear for them going into this final. So what about the Rams then, Jack? You know, they've, they've come through that test with Leeds, having been beaten three times by Leeds previously, that'll have boosted confidence can they take advantage of maybe the skeletons in the wardrobe of Villa? Well, I think they can, yes, because they've got great momentum. They beat West Brom 3-1 on the final day of the season. That big win at Ellen Road, coming back from those three defeats to the Whites. They've got momentum behind them. They've also shown they're a big game team as well. Beat Man United in the EFL Cup, almost beat Chelsea, getting the real run for the money. I think the momentum is behind Frank Lampard's men. Well, I have to say, it is tight. It's difficult one to call, as ever, in these playoff finals. I'm just going to edge towards Villa on this occasion. I just believe the strength and depth in their squad going into this game gives them the edge. We'll go 1-0 to Villa. Just looking at how the managers line up then now, because relatively inexperienced at this level, you'd have to say. Dean Smith for Villa, a Villa fan who's uh, turned the corner really with them uh, after a, a troublesome start in his time at Villa Park. We've got Frank Lampard, who might be lacking in experience in terms of managerial perspective, but certainly has huge big game experience with his time at Chelsea and with England. Let's start with Dean Smith. A lot of pressure on him here, Bobby. You know, all the people in the crowd, in the Villa end, uh, are people that he probably knows most of them. You know, he's expected to take Villa back to the Premier League. Can he cope with the pressure? I think so. I mean, he's got this Villa squad that have learned from the heartbreak. Uh, have been in a playoff final previously. He's come in, he's put his own tactics in place and, and they seem to be thriving under Dean Smith. I think that feeling of playing under a manager who knows the club, knows, as you say, what it means to the fans as well, just gives the players an extra boost. And I, I think, as you mentioned, both managers don't have a great deal of experience, but at least Dean Smith has been around the championship previously with Brentford. He's built up a little bit of experience. But Frank Lampard, he's had a great first season. You can't get away from that. But I, I just believe when it comes to this crunch match, that slight more experience that Dean Smith has will, will come to the fore and will help Aston Villa through. So a lack of experience managerially then for Frank Lampard. But as I say, Jack, his big game experience could come into its own here. Oh, what a player Frank Lampard was. 106 caps for England. And he knows Wembley well, doesn't he? He won four FA Cups during his playing days. Champions League, Europa League. I know people will say he's not got that experience in the dugout. But he's got to use that, hasn't he? He's going to be right into his side. He's going to be telling them what they're going to be going through. I think that experience of the big games, Jody Morris as well, also being in those situations, I think Frank Lampard just edges the battle here. Well, I have to say, round two for me just goes towards Derby. I do think Lampard's experience in these big games could be crucial. And Derby themselves, of course, have had some big cup matches in the last 12 months or so as well, including a League Cup win at Manchester United. So that may well just edge in their favour. Round three is regarding the key players for both sides. Jack Grealish for Aston Villa has pulled the strings all season. Can he be the big game player on the big stage? Harry Wilson, meanwhile, is on loan from Liverpool at Derby. He's been massively influential for the Rams so far this season. Let's start with Grealish. As I say, he was in that team that lost, of course, 12 months ago, Bobby. It's time for him to step up. 
It is, and he's done that all season. You can see there's an extra motivation about Grealish now. He's matured as a player, I think, when he first came onto the scene in the Premier League. There were one or two questions about his mentality and, and the way that he carried himself off the pitch as well as on it. He appears to have put all that to one side. He scored six times in the league this season, got six assists on top of that. He also got two assists in the playoff uh, semi-finals against West Brom so he's a player that's starting to come to the fore just at the right time in these bigger games he's controlling it and he's, he sort of brushes off all the criticism that he gets nowadays he knows that he's a good enough player just to go out and put that into practice when he goes onto the field you look at Wilson and yes he has had a great season but I, I, I wonder whether he's going to be able to uh, continue that into the, the big game he scored a couple of free kicks hasn't he in, in cup matches previously this season but I don't know when it comes to the crunch at Wembley sellout crowd whether he's going to be able to perform there well that's a big question mark about Harry Wilson but he's got a lot to prove here Jack because if he does well and shines and gets Derby into the Premier League he's also looking at the possibility of breaking into the Liverpool squad well exactly but you've mentioned his big game mentality can he do it I think he can he scored the penalty against Leeds scored a free kick at Old Trafford. He also scored a brilliant free kick for Wales against the Republic of Ireland in Dublin, a decisive goal in that. He's had a fantastic season, 18 goals. He's been looked at by other Premier League clubs. Could he make it at Liverpool? I think he could. I think he's a real match winner. And importantly, in his little head-to-head -head against Neil Taylor, he's got so much pace. Neil Taylor's not as mobile as he used to be, the Aston Villa man, after a few bad injuries. I think this Harry Wilson could really tear him apart and I really fancy him to have a good, good day at Wembley. Well, I have to say, this could be crucial to the battle. Harry Wilson against Jack Grealish. It really is going to be a vital encounter. Whoever comes out on top will probably see their side go to the Premier League. I'm going to just about edge towards Grealish, I have to say. I think because of that extra experience that he has and having missed out last year, he'll be determined to get the club he supports, Aston Villa, into the top flight. So it's just going to go 2-1 to Villa overall. What about your thoughts on the game? Well, I wonder whether you might be swayed by the predictions of these two. Bobby, what's the score going to be? I'm going to go 2-0 Aston Villa, another clean sheet. Derby chokers in the playoffs. What is it, four in the last six years? They've not done it yet. What about you then, Jack? How do you see it going? Well, Aston Villa lost last year. I think it's going to happen again. And I fancy Harry Wilson to be my man as well. 1-0 to Derby, a free kick from Wilson. That's what the guys think. It's a huge game. What about your thoughts? Who's going to be playing in the Premier League next season? Is it going to be Aston Villa or is it going to be Derby County?